The Family in Kyoto One Japanese Girl Got Freedom Written by Hidemi Woods Narrated by Hidemi Woods The Thickest Door In the summer of my fourth grade, I was in the hospital. It started as cold-like symptoms with high fever. But I was left unattended because summer was the peak season for farming, and my parents were extremely busy as farmers. To make things worse, my family had been rebuilding our house at the time, An extra attention of my parents was paid to that. About a week later, I vomited blood and fainted. That at last captured my parents' attention, and they realized the seriousness. When I became conscious, they had called a nurse who lived in the neighborhood, and she was attending me. She suggested taking me to a hospital. After examination, I was diagnosed with nephritis. As the summer break for school was just around the corner, I was admitted to the hospital on the day the break began. Although I had been longing for the summer break as the precious time of my freedom, I was locked up in the hospital instead. I shared the room with five other girl patients. Except for a very small or very sick child, parents weren't permitted to stay overnight with the patients. They came during the visiting hours. I was nine years old and had never stayed outside home for such a long time before. I suffered from homesickness rather than from nephritis. My parents were too busy working seven days a week as farmers, and only my mother visited me every day. But she only made it less than one hour before the visiting hour ended, although I was waiting for her all day long. No matter how desperately I begged her to come earlier, she prioritized her work, and I got to see her merely forty minutes or so a day. Sometimes my father also came to see me, taking my younger sister with him. In that case, when the visiting hour was over, I would see my parents and my sister off. They went into the elevator together, and the door shut before me, excluding me alone. That was the thickest door I'd ever felt it was. I went back to my bed and lay down hiding tears from other girls and nurses. Maybe it hinted my future relationship with my family. The three of them still lived together in their house that I left after I struggled and couldn't quite fit in. Audiobook The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook. Living in Kyoto by Hitomi Woods. Now on sale in online stores. 44 available distributors. Apple, Google Play, Amazon Audible, or else. Listening, MP3 
www.thpp.com。大好評。秀美ウッズがデザインしたとっても可愛いオリジナルグッズが手に入る。トートバッグ、缶バッジ、ステッカー、T シャツ、トレーナー、パーカー、文具、その他いろいろ。エリゼンドットコムで見てみてね。E. R. I. Z. E. N. ドットコム。E. R. I. Z. E. N. ドットコム。エリゼンドットコム。<音楽>